that a, a whatever company, whether they are called BET or BFT or whatever, wanted to give a gospel music award category. Gospel music award category. They gave it to an unbeliever. The church thinks that this is not, they don't know it's a statement in the spirit. The world doesn't even know what the gospel is anymore. The world is confused. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> so even our perspective about money, our perspective about marriage, there are many young ladies sitting here now who will think that they are failures if they don't marry before they die. And this is not me bashing marriage. This is me telling you that it got to a point in my life that I stayed with the Lord. And I said, oh God, even if you don't want me to marry, I'm ready to waste my life. I'm ready to waste my life. I'm married. Your pastor is married, so it's not as if I'm trying to say don't marry. Are you with me? But you need to be able to see your life from the correct perspective. If not, the light that will be in your body will be what? Darkness. Will be darkness. So if we are not able to put you in a place and thoroughly understand who you represent, your Christianity is a lie. Let me help somebody. Let me show you what the gospel is. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 1. Give me verse... 12. Let me show you something. First Timothy chapter 1, give me verse 12. You know me, I like to follow the Holy Ghost. So, when he puts something in my spirit, I just follow him. He says, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me where? Into the ministry. Next verse. Although I was what? I want you to say the word. What's that word? Formerly a what? Blasphemy. A what? And what? An insolent man. Now, the first thing Paul shows you is that if you are ever going to be in ministry, and that word that is translated ministry there just means, simply means one that is a servant in service. So every Christian that the Lord recruits is actually supposed to be what? In ministry. You are in the service of your king. So most of the time, when the Lord wants to put you in ministry, there will be a clear sign that a transformation has occurred. You have been moved, like Colossians says, out of darkness into his marvelous light. He says, but I obtained mercy because I did it how? Ignorantly in what? Unbelief. Next verse. Next verse. And the grace of our Lord Jesus was exceedingly abundant with faith and love which are where? In Christ Jesus. 15. This is a what? Faithful saying. And worthy of what? All acceptance. What is the gospel? That Christ Jesus came into the world to do what? That's the message of the gospel. That's why Jesus comes saying, repent. We have all gone astray. We are lost. We are disconnected from home country. But before you can be restored, it begins with repentance. What Jesus brought was salvation from sin. So if you read your scriptures carefully, you will find out that the matters of salvation are in three tenses. You are saved, you are being saved, and you shall be saved. You are saved from what? The penalty of sin. You are being saved from what? The power of sin. You shall be saved means that you will be saved from the presence of sin. It's in three tenses. So even when you read Paul's writings, you will find out that the matters of sonship are both instant and futuristic. So as many as believed, like we saw yesterday, as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. It's instant. But when you get to Romans chapter 8 and start reading from verse um, 18 thereabout, you now begin to see that there is a futuristic dimension of your sonship. Media, help me. Some people, I, I, I feel a body. Give me Romans 8. 
For I consider that the, press, the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be what? What is the word shall? Shall is what? Futuristic. Then he goes ahead to explain. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for what? The revealing sons of God. Why do the sons of God need to be revealed if they are already sons of God? Why do we need to see the revelation of the sons of God? Because the first appearing, the first realization of your sonship is justification. So you are saved from the penalty of sin. You are justified. That's why Paul said that I obtained what? Mercy. Because the things that I did, I did it how? Ignorantly. So I obtained mercy. So I was justified. Just as if I have never sinned. I get a clean slate. The judge of the whole earth and heaven says, not guilty. But justification is not the end of the Christian life. You are being saved is a process called sanctification. And what sanctification is, is the deliverance of your soul from the entrappings of this world. So sanctification is actually a war for your soul. Which spirit will govern the appetites of your soul? So God needs to begin to separate you from the world. Come out from amongst them and be separate. And touch not what? The unclean thing. If men cannot tell truly that you are a bearer of light, you should be weeping. You should go to your room and lie down and ask yourself, what is wrong with me? I saw that a, a whatever company, whether they are called BET or BFT or whatever, wanted to give a gospel music award category. Gospel music award category. They gave it to an unbeliever. Who sang what we do not know. We should be weeping. Because it means that the world no longer even knows what gospel music is. We should be weeping. But you see these things don't bother the church. We just want to gather and clap our hands and have fun. The world wants to give gospel music award. Gospel. Gospel. They gave it to somebody who dances half naked, who sings about rubbish things. And the church thinks that this is not, they don't know it's a statement in the spirit. The world doesn't even know what the gospel is anymore. The world is confused. Why wouldn't they be confused? Look at our gospel music videos. Hmm? The person comes out of a Lamborghini. If they bless me, they bless me, they bless me, they bless me, they bless me. Who told you that the blessing is a car? It is the blessing that produces the car. The car is not the blessing. Look at our music video. Sisters are dancing everywhere. We are celebrating bling bling. He comes out of a mansion. She goes to celebrate her baby being born in the... Is that the gospel? You know many of you sitting here don't even know what the gospel is. There are many things you have heard in church. Jesus did not preach it. When Jesus appeared on the face of the earth, his message was about the kingdom. He was calling men to repentance. When last did your prophet call men to repent? When last? You've been in church now since January. Be honest. When last did you hear a message on hell? When last did you hear a teaching on eternity? When last? It's always that God, he's, he's troubled. God is sitting on his throne and all he's thinking about is you. He's worried that you've not eaten fufu. He's worried that you are not married. He's worried that you don't have a car. So this morning, God just flew from heaven with 32 angels. And all of them are carrying bags. On one is Giang. On one is Asamoa. On one is Tuetwe. On one is, all your names are on the bags. 
God wants to give you is a breakthrough. So many people who come to the knowledge of Jesus don't even come hearing the gospel. They don't know the gospel. They don't know the gospel. So can you blame, blame the world for giving an award that is supposed to be an exclusive category? Giving it to, a, to the same person that mirrors the reality of the world. The world it looks at the church and says that our messaging is no longer clear. It's not clear in our music. It's not clear in our pulpits. People are confused. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Thank you for watching that video. I know you are blessed. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding. Uh, this is a great privilege for us to listen to the voice of God. And I pray the Lord will make us the doer of the word and not error holy in the name of Jesus. Please do have to like, have you subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. And also, drop your comment. I pray that the Lord will help us. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs>